Hi, I'm Lynette from PanicAttackRecovery.com. We often receive questions such as the following. Is there a link between anxiety and sugar consumption? What should I eat if I suffer from anxiety? In this video, I would like to discuss anxiety, sugar consumption, and its effect on you. We cover the link between anxiety and blood sugar in more depth, which you can access through our website. However, for the purposes of this video, I will present a succinct explanation right here. The basal ganglia in the brain is the center that, among other things, is involved with anxiety and panic attacks. And this area can be adversely affected by too much sugar or carbohydrates. Sugar and carbohydrates can create a huge spike in your blood sugar levels and your body needs to create more insulin to account for the spike in blood sugar. After your blood sugar spikes, a huge crash in your blood sugar occurs. This drop can make you very irritable, but worse yet, very anxious. Dr. Daniel A. Men, MD, explains that diets high in refined sugars, such as the low-fat diets of the past, encourage diabetes, tiredness, and cognitive impairment. Yes, to imply that bacon is a health food and that oranges and carrots are as bad as cake seems silly. You may be asking, what are some examples of anti-anxiety food? Well, Dr. Amen goes on to explain that the best eating approach is one that balances good protein, fat, and carbohydrates. Eating regularly throughout the day keeps blood sugar more stable throughout the day and consuming foods lower in refined carbohydrates and sugar can be helpful for anxiety. While many people start by reducing or cutting out sweets, candy, cake, and any of the obvious things, Sugar is everywhere. Therefore, it can be helpful to become vigilant and knowledgeable about the sugar levels in the foods you consume. For instance, look at the sugar counts of various foods and consider choices that are lower in sugar. You may feel much better once you remove excess sugar and too many carbs from your diet by eating foods that keep you satisfied throughout the day as previously discussed. Be aware, you'll probably find it difficult to cut out sugar as your cravings will increase once it is eliminated, especially if you typically consume a lot of sweets. It may take several weeks. However, eventually the craving will often disappear. We're not suggesting that this dietary approach to sugar is a magic potion for anxiety. Rather, being aware of this information can be a great adjunct to the many other strategies that form a part of comprehensive approach to anxiety and panic attacks. Please don't forget to subscribe to Panic Attack Recovery on YouTube and follow us on Twitter. We share useful information through our various media. If you would like references to the information presented in this video and or additional tips and information concerning anxiety, panic attack, and agoraphobia recovery, please visit our website and subscribe to our free newsletter.